my fellow comic book collectors, it's Alan, the Comic Collector Geek, and this is the Friday Challenge, where I ask you to look through your long boxes and look for books based on a theme. And this week's theme is actually kind of maybe the butt of jokes. It is the caboose covers, um, or rear, uh, rear lights, <laughs> I don't know. It's sort of like butt covers, so um, covers with people's butts, basically. Uh, so it should be fun. Uh, <laughs> and I'm going to show you one that's an honorable mention. And it's a funny one. Uh, and it's a great cover. It's a great comic, actually. Um, it's this one. Uh, it's something about Alfred. <laughs> Even though it's not like from the behind and you can see him from behind. But something about the way he's kind of standing. He's kind of got his butt sort of sticking out. This didn't actually make the top 10 list, but... I thought it was a, it, I thought it was a funny one, so I figured I'd show it. So this is actually the very first cover appearance of Alfred, and this is the first time we see Alfred as a skinny guy before he's kind of pudgy. But um, yeah, this is Alfred as a skinny guy. This is Batman uh, twenty two, first cover appearance of Alfred. But let's get into the real butts. <laughs> so it's more of the sexy girl type of butt. Uh, I'd like to see what people come up with for this challenge. It'll be funny. Okay, so this is um, a Derek Cho uh, cover. Uh, and this is... Um, or Frank Cho, I should say. Frank Cho. What am I saying? Uh, this is um, uh, Savage Red Sonia, number one. It's just a cool, uh, you know, kind of suggestive of the butt. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> when I say butt a lot, I can see already. <laughs> I'm just like... Once you get it in your mind, it's it's gonna kind of say but 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 okay. Um, so yeah, so this is number ten on the list, Savage Red Sonia. Okay, and then we got one of my favorite Golden Age characters, um, Torchy, and uh, this is a really great one where you know she's kind of bent over, <laughs> uh, and all the paintings are kind of checking her out, and it's kind of cute. So you can see all the paintings kind of checking her out. And uh, this is a uh, Gil Fox cover, Torchy number two, from 1940, oh sorry, 1950 actually. It's kind of a cool Torchy cover. And the next one is an interesting one. Um, this is Forbidden Zone. This is, these are kind of interesting uh, Planet of the Apes comics. So this is um, from... Uh, Adventure Comics, and it's uh, Forbidden Zone number one. And I just thought <laughs> you got this uh, uh, ape girl with a cute butt, I guess. <laughs> so, so that's next one on the list. And uh, what is that? And we got another uh, Frank Cho. Uh, this is uh, Good Girl Art. Oh, by Robert, by Ron Goulard. Um, but it's actually a Frank Cho uh, cover. And we got uh, Liberty Meadows, uh, you know, showing her, her butt. A rather voluminous butt. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so it's kind of a cute one. I actually like Liberty Meadows. It's quite good. And then we have, this one I actually got for free recently. Um, and I thought, hey, this is from Lone Star Comics, and they threw it in <laughs> into my box, so I thought that was kind of cool. But it's a cute butt cover. So, uh, and she's got like all these tattoo art done, so I thought it was kind of a cool one. I kind of like these Asian art style, like Asian, you know, um, warrior kind of girls. Uh, so yeah, so we got, uh, what is this called? I'm not even sure what this is called. All new exclusive assistant number one. <laughs> so from Lone Star Comics, uh, which is the comic shop, my comic shop. So if you hear bell ringing, this is why. Okay, so that's the next one. Number five on the list is one that actually, I forgot the reason why I bought this, but it's actually a pretty cool cover. Um, it's Delirium number one. And it's, you know, you got this girl in kind of like this sexy uh, outfit in the back. You got some girls wearing all these kind of sexy outfits. Lots of legs on this one, actually. This would be a great leg cover, too. Um, and you got these guys with, like, helmets with guns on them. Uh, looks like they have... 
not sure if they're holding the gun or it almost looks like it's attached to their helmet but uh so <laughs> it's kind of an interesting cover and then you got this one guy who's just totally out of place he's wearing his boxer shorts so it's kind of an interesting one i haven't read this one yet so i don't don't know what exactly is going on but it says invasion cancelled dave forgot to shave <laughs> so so yeah it's delirium it must be some i don't know why i bought this one so but it's, it's an interesting one so this is uh delirium number one and uh this one actually my friend uh steve gettner actually told me about this one this is an adam hughes cover this is legion uh legion air uh number one or number number 16 sorry number 16 it's the adam hughes cover and it's a great caboose cover uh yeah you got yeah he's really good at drawing the women <laughs> what can you say so this is number four on my list uh legionnaires number 16. that's a cool one and this is another one i kind of like um this is thunderbolts number 80. And this run of Thunderbolts had a lot of really great uh, covers, uh, like good girl art covers. And um, this one kind of reminds me of the, the suntan one where the girl's getting <laughs> her uh, uh, drawers pulled down. It's kind of a similar idea. So this is uh, Thunderbolts number 80. I'm not sure who did the cover of that one, though. That one's I'm not sure. And this one I thought was a really great one. This is uh, Tarot, <laughs> a little bit more revealing than some of the other ones. Uh, this is Tarot number 142, and this is a Jim Ballant uh, cover. It's just a really <laughs> sexy <laughs> butt cover. Uh, I, I really like uh, Tarot. So um, Tarot, the Witch of the Black Rose. So yeah, just a really cool character, really great cover. And last one. This is a recent book, actually. Um, I was thinking of showing more Golden Age, but I, there were so many great uh, modern books that have, you know, they have really good butt covers. <laughs> so uh, this was uh, Poison Ivy, uh, number, what, 17. And it's the uh, uh, David Nakayama cover. I just thought it was a really good one. I just like the shine, and it just it's a, it really draws the eye, I guess. Uh, it's just a really, really cool uh, Poison Ivy cover. I like all the tentacly things going on with her vines, I guess. So yeah, it's a really great one. That's my number one on the list. Hope you enjoyed this list. <laughs> um, this is the, But this is the end. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'd love to see what people can come up with for this list. It'll be a fun one. Just find great butt covers or and we'll use uh the hashtag if you want to make a video just use the hashtag uh, friday comic challenge and hashtag caboose um so yeah so it should be a fun one i'd love to see what people come up with it'll be a good one this week so um thanks again for watching bye for, for now